ship checks. My name's Theo Acosta, and I'll be running your Pilots Federation evaluation. Most pilots assigned to me earn their license, so as long as you follow my instructions, you'll be a commander in no time. Mm. Oh, and uh, before oh. you ask, I may sound yes. like an Imperial, but uh, I'm actually from an independent system. Today we'll be covering the basics of flight control, combat, and frameshift drive use. This sidewinder has been installed with a specialized computer that'll take control at certain points. Mostly you'll follow a series of objectives to guide your actions. These are shown in the info panel at the top right of the head-up display. Okay, you're good to go. Select auto launch from the options ahead of you when you're ready.
Release your throttle to accelerate forwards. Decrease the throttle to resume a stationary position. Your throttle can also be pulled back from zero to engage reverse thrust. As before, push the throttle in the opposite direction to cease moving. Inputs confirmed. Looks like you've got the hang of individual controls. Let's see if you can put them all together. Your next task is to guide your ship through a series of checkpoints. Head towards the course, following the target indicator. The course weaves through an orbital structure and is designed for the novice pilot. Hej og velkommen her til mit navn er Martin, min øh, gamle, gamle, gamle... Fly through the center of the first checkpoint. You'll notice that they change color as you fly through them. Det ved jeg godt. Jeg har lavet den her kurs før. Det er min syge kurs. And we're off. There's no time limit, so maintain a comfortable speed while you familiarize yourself with the controls. Yes. Øhm, uh, tip, 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 alle far, The Muscle Martin, han var en... Rolling and pitching together is the most efficient way of turning rapidly. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, who are you meaning it out? A little over there. Øhm, ja, jeg skulle måske koncentrere mig om det her. Men min tip var det fra, han hedder Martin, og det har jeg arvet fra, og han var youtuber, han hedder Wood Atlantis. Og det her ting er, at jeg vil gøre lige det samme med hans træk. Og de siger, at vi ligner meget hinanden, så det er da rart. Jeg snakker så på dansk, fordi at vi er blevet generationer med meget, meget, meget... It's good practice to consider the angle and speed of your approach. See the blue marker beside the throttle gauge. This indicates the optimum turning speed. Yes. Og det vil sige, at han er en legendarisk YouTuber. Han fik desværre ikke så mange... Han blev også omkring 40'erne, da han stoppede. Han nåede ikke så meget. Han smål var at komme på 900 abonnenter, som det hed dengang. Og øh, YouTube øh, ja, eksisterer ikke mere i den her tid. Øh, man kan stadig se YouTube på et andet program. approaching a particularly sharp turn, so I advise slowing down to prevent any mishaps. På grund af at vi har fået nye regler, eller de fik fået nye regler med først noget med Copa. Det var en af de første... Your ship's boost function greatly increases your speed, but use it wisely. Tak. A new icon has appeared on 
the sensor display in the center of your dashboard. This represents a nearby beacon, which you'll soon scan as part of your evaluation. Okay. Target the beacon before we continue. You're going to use your ship's data link scanner to analyze the beacon, but you need to deploy hard points first. Hard point, okay. Good. Most external yeah, yeah. modules are installed on hard points, including weapons. Control is back with you. Mm -hmm. The beacon is relatively small, so you'll need to position yourself close to it. Mm -hmm. Get rid of the Watch your speed here. We intend to scan the object, not become one with it. You can scan the beacon now. Well done. The data link scanner is a versatile tool that connects with network interfaces and various data points. You need to move to another area of this star system to continue your assessment, Pilot. Okay. Rather than travel for the next year using your thrusters, you can employ the ship's frameshift drive to increase your speed by a few orders of magnitude. First, ensure that the ship is correctly secured. Your landing gear, cargo scoop, and hard points must all be retracted. Okay. When you're ready, throttle up and engage supercruise. Yes. Frame shift drive charging. Those case say they filled it. Woo! Three, two, one. Oh, that is there. Oh! All readouts look good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're now accelerating Ooh. towards a velocity comparative to the speed of light. Measure yeah, to the sea. Yeah, 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 yeah. is used to navigate within a star system. Allowing you to cover significant distances in minutes. Usually you'll retain control in Super Cruise, but on this occasion your ship's computer is following a preset path. This is a good time to familiarize yourself with a couple of the cockpit panels available to you. In the top left of your HUD is the comms panel, which displays pilot communications and contacts across several channels. The top right, that's your info panel, entries here mostly relate to your ship's status, computer messages, and events happening around you. Okay. the best thing. Ah, there we go. Welcome to Lightspeed. Watch the distance and speed markers on the dashboard. These are used to help you accurately disengage at your destination. Oh. Your next lesson will introduce the basics of combat. Several static and mobile targets will be provided around the decommissioned megaship. We'll also cover some situational information about weaponry and target tracking. Okay. And yes, you'll get to shoot those weapons you saw earlier. Yes. Astronomical bodies have a gravitational effect on the FSD, reducing your ship's speed. The closer the body, the greater the effect. Group. Okay. 
You'll notice that your weapons are now listed on your HUD. Fire groups allow you to manage your hard points efficiently. Let's begin the combat evaluation. Destroy several of the canisters. <laughs> Thrusters are particularly useful for navigating around large structures. Why not give them a try? All weapons have an effective range, so you may need to move closer here. Your cannon will automatically reload until the ammunition supply runs out. Meanwhile, your laser will fire until the capacitor is depleted, at which point it will need to recharge. Try targeting the canister you're aiming at. Quota achieved. Let's dial up the challenge a notch, shall we? An unmanned craft has arrived nearby. These drones are used by the Pilots' Federation as target practice, and they're quite harmless. Mm -hmm. To continue, bring the craft into your sights and open fire. This one is fitted with a shield generator. Helpfully, your burst laser is a thermal weapon, which excels at stripping away a target's shields. Thank you. 
you're planning on a peaceful career, understanding the basics of combat is vital for a pilot's long-term survival. Yes. For advanced combat information, you should refer to the pilot's handbook, which we'll cover in more detail soon. Okay. The next step of your evaluation involves a hyperspace jump to a neighboring star system. On this occasion, your ship's computer has selected your destination for you. We'll cover selecting destinations manually soon. Okay. The mass lock indicator on the bottom right of the dashboard is active. This means a large object is in close proximity, preventing you from engaging the FSD. To resolve this, throttle up to move a safe distance away from the megaship. Remember, you can boost to temporarily increase your ship's speed. The mass lock indicator has gone out. When you are ready to travel light years in seconds, engage the FSD. Frameshift drive charging. Oh, the best. Yippie Kai, yay, motherfucker! Final stretch. You'll 
access corridor first. Oh. Starports are the backbone of humanity's operations throughout inhabited space. They provide mission boards, the commodities market, a number of specialized contacts, and various ship facilities. Yes. Most pilot business is conducted via the Starport Services interface. I recommend familiarizing yourself with this screen when docked. Yes. The docking computer will now demonstrate a safe landing procedure. Let's review what it's doing. Landing gear must be deployed. The related dashboard indicator lights up if this has been done. Landing gear deployed. Yes. So, in a moment, the sensor display will switch to the precision approach display, which helps you accurately set belly down on the landing pad. Congratulations, Commander. Your evaluation has been successful, and a license is being assigned to you as I speak. So then. We just need to finalize your credentials. Enter the hangar to exit this evaluation. Yeah. It's time to blaze your own trail across the galaxy. The manner in which you do so is up to you. Yeah. 